Hello, and welcome back to another library. Uh, I don't like that wrinkle. Hello, and welcome back to another library edition of Nailed It! Hello, uh, I'm back in my kitchen in very cooking inappropriate attire. Um, so today we're going to do another nail it session, I believe. Well, not I believe. <laughs> I know we're gonna do it. Um, but uh, yeah, let me get the food out of the fridge. As you remember last time, I ruined a chocolate cake thing. Let's hope this turns out better. As always, read the instructions first. Uh, drum roll, please. Today we are making pop tarts. Oh, I love pop tarts. They're supposed to look like this. Um, will they look like this? Uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, I mean, I'm not optimistic, but I'm not pessimistic either. So, um, yeah, let's see. You can find this re recipe at our library and gluten-free miniature desserts by Abigail R. Gehrig. Gehrig? By Abigail R. Gehrig. 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 Abigail R. Gehrig. Gluten-free miniature desserts by Abigail R. Gehrig on our Hoopla app. So, um, yeah, or you could follow me, but I wouldn't advise that. This recipe does not provide an estimated time. So I decided to give you an even 30 minutes for this challenge, including bake time. Time yourself start to finish. Tiara better not cheat this time. And I'm going to set a timer here and actually stick to it this time. I know that was a point of contention in the last, <laughs> in the last video, so. Um, In a large mixing bowl, mix together flour, xanthan gum, sugar, and salt. Wait, the ingredients aren't marked. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is the flour. Um, this looks like sugar. Uh, this looks like salt. Is this the flour? All right, we've got the bowl. Oh, and now you just whisk stuff together. One and a half cups of gluten-free flour. Half cup. All right, I'm trying to film with one hand. I'm using a stand that I ironically got for somebody else, but it was there and... Salt, how much salt? Fourth of a teaspoon. I'm gonna use the fancy salt we have. Fancy salt! It's H-E-V brand. Now whisk it together. All right, we've got 24 minutes and 50 seconds left. Plenty of time, plenty of time. No need for me to yank up the temperature like I considered doing, well, I hope not. It doesn't take that long to get to 350, but if it does, you know, Emergency measures may need to be considered. Already better than last time because this time I actually used the mixing bowl instead of holding it. Okay, um, add the melted butter, vanilla, and milk and mix. To melt the butter, I guess we're pulling out our old friend, Chef Mike. Um, let's see, how much do we need? 
if you spend a lot of time on the internet like I do, um, you know Chef Mike is um, apparently Gordon Ramsay's mortal enemy. And Chef Mike is our friend, the microwave. So that's where we're gonna heat up the butter today. Um, if we're supposed to do something else, um, you know what? If I'm supposed to do something else, then it doesn't matter <laughs> because I'm gonna use Chef Mike. Always gotta cut your butter. Ow. Don't cut it like me. I probably should have used a cutting board. I am not bleeding. That's good. Um, let me do it. So you're stuck with me for 30 seconds. So how was your holiday? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great to hear. I also had a great holiday. Thank you for asking. That was really sweet of you. I really appreciate that. Oh, looks like we got some melting. All right. Um, do you think I should try it again? Well, I don't want to risk it. You gotta cook your butter slowly. I've learned that because I've ruined the microwave. No, it popped! Uh, I think I'm just gonna dump it in. Is that bad? I think that's bad. Um, you know what? It'll melt, it'll melt. Yeah, like, like yeah, it's melting right now. You see it? You can't see it. Wait, you can't see it. Wait, how do I angle this? Okay. Okay. Anyway, it's melting, so. So I put in a teaspoon of this for in the butter. One, two, three. Oh, oh, um, I mean, the more vanilla, the better, right? I think that's how it works. The more vanilla, the better. Okay, there we go. I think we're getting somewhere. And then it says, oh, use your hands to knead it together until it becomes smooth. But, I'm just gonna use this. Um, hmm, oh, wait, I don't think I put the, wait, I did put the milk in. So then why is it doing that? Is it supposed to, like, why does it feel like that weird metallic sand that I had as a kid that was like, if, like, it feels like the metallic sand. I don't think it's supposed to be giving that. Let's see, until it hangs together and becomes smooth. But look at this. Um. I don't think that looks right. Is it supposed to be this crumbly? So I don't want to, I don't want to jump the gun this early into the challenge, but what if I just put more milk in? Do you think that would help? Comment below, vote. Leave your vote. Vote for a better America and that's more delicious Pop-Tart, please. Okay. Um, okay, I only have 15 minutes left. Let me, crap. Okay, let me just put some more milk in there. Okay. Now's not the time for rational decisions, okay. You think I made a terrible mistake? I think I made a terrible mistake. Um, let's see. Um, well, it's like, like this could be, this could be considered smooth. Oh, shit. <laughs> this could be considered smooth, right? 
I love my portrait paper. Because every time I have it, it makes me feel like an English person. Why do I always do an English accent in these videos? You might have noticed earlier that um, it's that I said, oh no. But then I kept going. That was because I realized I was supposed to line this with, part, with flour, but I used all the flour. I'm gluten-free flour dusting. I don't think I'm supposed to pull any other ingredients, so we're just gonna keep going. All right, so I have flat worm, parchment paper, turn the dough on the surface, onto the surface. Wait, place another piece of parchment paper over top. So we take this, we use it like a cream. Okay. Roll the dough until a fourth of an inch. How big is a fourth of an inch? Do I need to be precise here? Should I get a ruler? I don't have a ruler. Man, I knew this would come in handy one day. Give me one second. Okay, so you're supposed to roll it. Wait. Wait, wait, I don't think I'm doing this right. Wait, this is the piece of Oh, okay. Wait, um, my food will put it. What? What? Do it without it. Oh no. Why does my dough keep falling apart? Okay, is this like half an inch thick, would you say? That looks to be about half an inch thick, right? Well, one fourth of an inch thick. Christmas because I'm the second best sister ever. I bought my sister a cookie cutter face of her dog because she wants to eat my dog's face. So I am going to use it to make stuff. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to reuse this. You know how I said this has, you can, this is convenient because you can do it, do like three teaspoons not teaspoons, tablespoons. Well, it's also convenient because I'm going to use it to cut it into shapes. So here we go. So one doggy, two doggy. Oh no, I've got 10 minutes left. Okay. Um, Four doggy. Five doggy. Those can be the backs. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 12 out of it though, but you know what? It's worth it because it's a dog. Why is this dough so crumbly? It's falling apart. Okay, this is terrible. This is worse than the last one. Wait, because the last one, at least I was kind of like on the right track, but now I'm just running out of time. Well, I mean, I ran out of time last time, but I feel like at least I was kind of heading in the right direction. And now this is just kind of. Okay, I don't think I can do the taco freaks. I'm gonna try and do one doggo face in the time allowed, and then the rest of them just squares. Look at the doggo face! 
doesn't specify how much. Oh no, the taco face. Did I put too much jam in there? Oh, I put too much jam. Okay, I have to focus on the rest. No more tacos. Just little squares. All right. So this is what we've got. Um, let me put this on the pan. Wait. This is They, it just keeps coming across uh, apart in my hands. That's the problem. Every time I make like some sort of shape, it just crumbles. All right, we gotta get the jam in right now. Probably like five minutes ago. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you're normally supposed to roll it out and keep going, but this is a Pop-Tart emergency, okay? We gotta keep this pushing. My hands are sticking with jam and everything's sticking to it. 12, okay, that's good enough. Okay, okay, we have eight minutes left. These are my Pop-Tarts. That one, the dog that looks cute. Boom, this is the final look before they go into the oven. Um, Yeah, okay, anyway, um, these won't get to bake because um, I currently have six minutes left and I don't think I can go over time like I did last time. not uniform, but hey, this is just a few points to get off, right? Bye! All right, okay, let me just do five minutes because I say it for... Now we got it for five minutes instead of five hours. All right, I'll be back. So uh, now we wait eight minutes. Oh, did you see my toilet paper earrings? I don't know, I put it in a lot of vanilla. They don't have to wash dishes, do they? This is thrilling content. I hope you guys know that. Yes, I got an air fryer and I'm very excited about it. This is thrilling. I don't know how she does this. Wear your sunscreen, folks. That was my plan all along. <laughs> Four minutes left, people. Four minutes left. Hopefully they'll be done. Because I didn't make any other breakfast plans and I have to go to work. All right, um, sad evidence of my failure. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be such a mess. Disappointed in myself. Can you believe that my New Year's resolution is to be a better cook and baker? Disappointing. I'm gonna leave them in there until like 30 seconds and then I'm just gonna make a mad dash and plate them. It ain't gonna be pretty, I'll tell you that much. <sighs> I went into this so confident. And now, now I'm just waiting for my blobs to come out of the oven. It's time, y'all. Take them out. Okay. Oh, no. <gasps> They are not done. Oh no, uh, oh I, you, my timer went off and I didn't even notice. Give me one second. All right, um, I don't know if you can see it. Not great. Oh no, guys, guys, oh no. I don't think I can eat these. All right, um, so here's the final look. Are you, are you, are you hungry yet? Are you hungry? Because I'm feeling very glad that I ate breakfast before I filmed this. Nailed it! 
So I guess I have to eat it now. Okay. Pretty sure I'm just eating raw dough. It doesn't have eggs in it. So. Alright, here comes the final taste test. I'm actually kind of dreading this because I know, <laughs> like, look, look at the material. <laughs> okay, let me try another one. Okay. Right. Why is it so grainy? not awful considering it's not awful I'll give myself that but but is it good well I would have to say no probably doesn't help that it's like melting in my hands because it's under baked um, because I did not keep with the time well but I mean, the flavors aren't terrible. The jam isn't terrible. In fact, in an alternate universe where I bake this correctly, I could actually see this being pretty good. But the jam is good. I repeat, the jam is good. I hope Tiara did better than I did. But as it stands, I, I would say this is not my best work. But, um, yeah. Hmm. Make sure you check out Abigail R. Gehring's book, Gluten-Free Miniature Desserts on Hoopla, and see if you can do this recipe better than me in 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you need a lot more time for this recipe, but you know what? You know what? You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah. So if you try this at home, uh, I would recommend setting out as much time as you need. <laughs> um, unless you are doing your own version of Nail Day at Home, in which case, don't set aside as much time as you need. Stay safe, Pflugerville, and make sure you come by the Pflugerville Public Library whenever we open back up. In the meantime, check out all our e electronic resources out. We have some amazing e-resources, including Hoopla, Overdrive, just tons of stuff. And make sure you guys stay safe. I'm going to be signing off, um, but I will see you guys in the next one. Now I'm going to go throw these away because... um. Yeah.